Well, hello and welcome to this latest video. In this video, we're going to look at installing Apache NetBeans Incubating 9.0 on a Linux system. Specifically, it's going to be Linux Mint 19, but it'll also work for any Ubuntu uh, Linux system as well. Now, first of all, before we start, I must stress that at the present time of making this video, um, NetBeans is being transferred from Oracle to Apache, and Apache are updating it to version 9. Not everything has been transferred, not everything has been updated. Uh, there isn't a Linux installer for it. In fact, I don't believe there's a Windows installer for it. There's only a Mac installer at present. Okay, uh, so in this video, we're going to look at how to install it on a Linux system and Apache are working very hard on NetBeans and you will see a lot of changes uh, shortly as they work on it. Okay so first of all I've installed uh, NetBeans 9 now probably about six or seven times on various different virtual machines and the one common thread that I've found is that if you have the uh, Java JDK 8 installed or available on your machine, then the installation of Apache NetBeans 9 is more or less faultless. It's really, really easy. If you don't have JDK 8 uh, on your machine or installed on your machine, you are going to have issues uh, depending on which version you've got. So um, they're not insurmountable issues, but if you want an easier install, then make sure you've got JDK 8. Now, first of all, um, I'm going to actually install um, Open JDK 8, but if you don't want to do this, you can download um, a copy of Oracle Java JDK from the Oracle site and what you need to do is I searched for Java JDK the top um, recommendation is the Oracle site uh, you can see you want the development kit 8 here it might have a different unit number but it certainly wants to be 8 accept the license agreement okay and then what you want to do is select the download that's appropriate for you now Linux Mint 19 you're probably going to want this tarball here okay uh, there's nothing to stop you taking the RPM if you wish uh, the repository but um, the tarball here if you're running on a 32-bit system then you'll need this tarball here Okay, um, but I'm actually going to install the JDK from OpenJDK, which is actually provided with um, Ubuntu. So at get install and it's OpenJDK hyphen eight hyphen JDK. Okay, so this will take a moment because it will need to download it from the web and install it. So, password, and away we go. Now, please remember that this will change. It's going to change. This is a certainty, okay, as Apache work on NetBeans 9. You'll find that uh, things change very quickly. I noticed that I was on... Monday last week and by Friday a number of items had changed on the system um, for example clicking on uh, in Oracle brought me directly to the Apache site rather than actually downloading items in Oracle so things are changing they're changing all the time so please check back regularly to um, see the the differences click on the bell um, below just to, to be sure you get your notifications of um, when we update this video 
Okay, this is nearly finished. Uh, it's just processing the triggers. And there we go. Okay, so we now have uh, a, pack, uh, a Java, Open Java JD8 on the system um, and ready to go. So the next thing to do is to go to the Apache, uh, netbeansapache.org website and you'll want to click on download. Okay. For some reason, my system is quite slow today. Not too sure why, but it's um, doing a good impression of a pot horse. Okay, on the download page, as of today, you only have, come on, that's better, uh, an installer for the Mac. Now, we're not on a Mac, we're on a Linux system, so if you're installing for Windows and if you're installing for Linux, this is the one you want. Binaries, incubating, NetBeans, Java, 9.0, bin, zip. Okay? And so when you click on it, you'll be taken to a section of mirrors pages. Okay? And click on the selected mirror, the one that they suggest, because this is probably the one that's, that's closest to you. As you can see, this is in the UK. Um, which is um, where my machine's located. Okay, so I've actually downloaded it to save time, but all you need to do is click on this and it will download to your download directory. Okay, so as I say, I've downloaded it and you can see it's here. I've also downloaded the JDK from um, Oracle, but I'm not going to install that. If you are going to install this, just double click on it, click on extract, and then move the files into a folder in your home directory called JDK8 or something like that. Okay, so here we go. We're going to extract NetBeans 9, so it doesn't really matter where you are at the moment. The location is this. It doesn't really matter because we're going to we're going to change the location so we'll just click on extract okay so I'm just going to double click on John although it probably won't in extract to that folder it's not really a problem okay so make sure all files are selected and keep the directory structure okay so when, if you've done that, click on Extract again, and this time we'll get a dialog box, and it'll extract the files. This will take a minute or two because there are quite a few files in here. Um, as I say, it, it depends on your system as how quickly this will happen. Okay, so when it's finished, you want to show the files because at the moment it's in your downloads directory and you don't actually want it to be in there so uh, li quite literally you need to come into the home directory open the downloads directory click on NetBeans and drag it into home on the left hand side and that will move it all into the home folder and as you can see it is now here Okay. Now, one of the things that you may have to do is if you've installed, if you have, sorry, if you haven't installed Open JDK, if you, okay, and you've installed the uh, the Oracle version, you need to come into the NetBeans folder. You need to come to the Accept etc folder and double click on NetBeans.conf. Okay. Come down towards the bottom, it's actually quite close to the bottom, and you'll see it says NetBeans underscore JDK home and path to JDK. Okay, now you need to change this, okay, to the path to where you put your JDK. So, for example, if it's in your home directory, if, if it was in my home directory, then I would put in something like this, okay, and I would then 
save the file and exit. Now I haven't actually um, used that so I'm not going to make that change. Okay. Oh and don't forget to remove the hash before it because the hash is a comment so you need to make sure it is not commented out. Okay and that way NetBeans can find your JDK8. Okay so I'm going to close this and we're now going to start um, NetBeans. So in the NetBeans folder click on bin. Now this is for the first time round and you have three files in here. Now I believe NetBeans XE and NetBeans 64 XE are both for the Windows operating system 32-bit 64-bit. You do not want these two. The one you want is just the plain vanilla NetBeans. Okay and in fact actually if you look at the permissions here you'll see that this has executable permissions whereas the others two do not. Okay, so quite literally double click on it and then click on run in terminal. This is because it, you'll get a display of any errors and that type of thing whereas um, if you just click on run you won't necessarily be able to see if there are any errors. So run in terminal uh, this will take a moment okay, uh, to start and it will come up with the license. Uh, if you wish you can read the license and so on. Um, just I will click on I accept. Okay. Now there is a, a slight technical hitch with this splash screen in that the Z order of it is too high. And so if a message box appears, it will appear behind this splash screen and you can't necessarily see it if it's a small mes message box. That's why we've kept terminal open so we can actually see if there's a problem that's waiting for us. Okay. You'll also notice that if we click on other things, the splash screen stays on top of everything which is a bit of a problem if you're wanting to do other things while NetBeans is actually starting. I'll just close these for the moment as it's they're not actually required. So close that as well. And as you can see NetBeans has nearly started. Now the first time you run it, or if you change the position of uh, its configuration files, you'll be asked to install NB Java C. Now before you do this, okay, you'll find that NetBeans will want to actually create a dictionary, and right on cue, it started doing it. I would recommend you wait for it to build the dictionary because sometimes it can get confused if it's installing uh, NB Java C at the same, this is Java compiler by the way, uh, at the same time as it's building this, the dictionary. It, uh, I've noticed that on a couple of occasions it's asked me to reinstall the, um, the Java compiler again. Okay, so wait while it um, builds the dictionary. I'm told that patience is a virtue, but I don't have that much, but um, I will try to be patient. Okay, so that's now finished building the dictionary, so we're going to install the Java compiler. So we'll just click on install. It'll come up with the NetBeans IDE plugin installer, so we click next. You'll need to accept the license agreement and click install. Uh, it will download the plugin and it will then ask you to if you want to continue. Okay, so yes, we do, so click continue and it will need to restart the ID. So click on finish and let it restart. Okay, so that's Apache started. It will now ask you whether or not you want to send usage statistics to Apache. Um, because this is 
in development and they are developing it um, very quickly and they're working very hard on this I'm going to click on I agree it is my normal habit to click on no thank you but um, they do need all the information they can get so I'm clicking on I agree and that's all there is to it Apache is now installed oh, sorry Apache NetBeans is now installed on your system but if you click on tools and you click on options okay you will see that only Java is installed okay there isn't HTML there isn't C++ there isn't PHP or anything like that only Java is installed okay so in the next video I will actually show you how to install the plugins uh, for the other programs okay so finally what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to add Apache NetBeans to your menu now I've already done this previously so you'll see there's a copy on there but right click on your menu click on configure click on the menu button at the top and then click on open the menu editor if you come into programming you'll see that I've already installed it I'm just going to remove the tick on that and I'm going to create a new item okay so in here it will be called Apache NetBeans incubating 9.0 okay next we hit browse and we need to come down to NetBeans we need to come down to bin and we need the top one which is the NetBeans without an extension okay click on OK right now before we continue in the command press home on your keyboard and enter an inverted comma press N to take you to the end press an inverted comma press home again and this time type in bin sorry forward slash bin forward slash sh space you can see it rather likes that okay now we need to change the icon as well and we can put in a comment um, the old uh, the old NetBeans uh, comment was the smarter way to code so I'm going to use that one and I'm now going to click on the icon if you come to NetBeans and then you come to NB you'll see that at the bottom you've got NetBeans.png okay click on that you can see it's um, shown up here and click on OK and you can see that it's here leave launching terminal unchecked unticked you don't want to tick in there click on OK and you can see it's appeared on my system so if I click on close and now click on menu and programming I have Apache NetBeans there and you can see at the bottom it says the smarter way to code as well okay so that's NetBeans Apache NetBeans installed on a Linux Ubuntu a Linux Mint system this is Mint 19 okay uh, but it will work on virtually any Mint uh, system and it work on virtually any Ubuntu system that you have but just make sure you have the JDK 8 that's very important okay in the next video I'm going to show you how to install the plugins for PHP HTML and C++ etc I hope you found this useful my name is John please remember to like and subscribe and to hit the bell icon for notifications of when this changes. Thank you very much indeed.